Hi guys, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Austin, Texas. Today, I'm going to share with you this really cute, I wouldn't say it's an event, it's like a setup. I'm gonna say it's called an event setup that's located in Northeast Austin that is excellent for everyone who loves the autumn months or Halloween. It's super cute, there's so much to do. I'm just gonna skip this intro and get right to it. Let's go. So this fantastic, super cute secret event that I was, that I'm wanting to tell you about is called Pumpkin Nights. What is Pumpkin Nights, you might ask? It's basically a Halloween themed walking trail decorated with pumpkins. And they have setups from different parts of the world and with different themes. So let me just start from the top and tell you what my experience was like. Pumpkin Nights in Austin is located in Northeast Austin in the Pioneer Farms. Once you get there, you pull in, you park your car, and there is a big, huge pumpkin and speakers, and you walk on in, and then there's this big kind of like park area where they've got food, different vendors, somebody was selling soap, someone else was selling honey. There was a fire dancer there, and then there were picnic tables where you could chill and eat your food and hang out before entering the actual trail. Once you start on the trail, you see a display of pumpkins. They're kind of on stakes, not stakes like filet mignon, like wood stakes, and they have them stacked on top of each other and they have different faces and they're lit up. And you walk through to get to the main pumpkin night's entrance. The first display is basically a canopy of pumpkins with different faces on them. And when we went there, there was, there was some Asian music playing and it kind of sounded like music that you would hear in like an Asian massage parlor. But it was very relaxing and it was very cute. And we went through that and then we walked through some more trail. And then you could see all these different displays that they have. All in all, from beginning to end, I think it takes about half an hour, maybe a little bit more to go through the entire trail. But you get to see a ton of different stuff. So I've got the website with me. And from what I understand, Pumpkin Nights is set up throughout different parts of the country. I'm seeing that they had one, or they might currently have one in Salt Lake City, Sacramento, there's one in Dallas, Fort Worth. So they're kind of all over. I think the description for this is pretty funny and very underwhelming because it's such a big event, but it, they just summarize it in a couple sentences. But here is a description. A 40 foot long dragon, a ghostly pirate ship, an undersea wonderland, explore fantastic lands built using over 5,000 hand carved real and synthetic pumpkins. When in reality, this is a big long trail full of pumpkin displays. What I really like about it, of course, is the atmosphere and that there's so many cool things to see. And just the overall craftsmanship that goes into carving all of these pumpkins. Like it said here in the description, they're all hand carved. And you can see, if you look at the actual pumpkins, they're all very different. And they have imperfections, which are cute, um, but somebody made a ton of effort, not just to actually make the real pumpkin, but also to hang them up and put lights in them and put music and like organize the way that they're set and everything. It's super, super impressive. So my experience was the following. I went on a Thursday evening with my boyfriend and there was a decent crowd of people there, but it wasn't too full, thank goodness. We went through and had a really good time. We got some really cute photos, some really fun videos, and were generally very impressed by the overall setup and display. If I could do it again though, which I plan on doing, I would probably go on a weekend evening. I might take a backpack full of tequila. We might pregame at the picnic tables and get some of the food that they're selling, sit there for a minute, enjoy the evening lights, and then start the trail. I have a feeling that it would be very fun. Some tequila or vodka or whatever you choose. While we were there, there was also a fair amount of families. I personally think the best time to take little kids is probably going to be right as the sun is setting. So they can go in when there's a little bit of sunlight, they can see what everything's about and still enjoy what it looks like in the dark without it getting too late. Uh, when we went, it was still kind of in the high 80s, so it was still a little bit warm, but nice nonetheless. Looking at the tickets online, the first time you can actually enter the event is 6 p.m. You can go a little bit later, they give you a half hour window to 
to play with. And the last entrance is 9 p.m. So if you go at nine o'clock, you could probably stay for a couple hours, honestly, till I'd say maybe 10.30 or 11. So you can make it a fairly late evening event and then go out afterwards and do whatever you want to do or just go straight to bed. But overall, it was super cute. It was a really fun experience. We didn't really know what to expect. I didn't do a lot of research on it. When I went, I just told my boyfriend, I'm like, we're gonna go to this pumpkin thing in Northeast Austin. And he was like, great, I'm down. So, so that was that. I will say the trails are mostly dirt, so it gets very, very dusty. Our shoes were absolutely covered in dust, and then we had to take a shower afterwards because it was so dusty. So know that, make sure that you don't wear shoes that are super cute that you really like. Wear something casual that you're okay getting dirty. That's it. This is a super short and sweet video about pumpkin nights and I wanted to give them a shout out because it's such a cool event and it's such a great thing to either go as a group of friends or take the kids to or you can take the entire family, grandparents, parents, kids, everybody. So that's it. That's all I've got. If you've got more ideas for Austin events that I should be looking at or featuring, leave a comment or you can also send me an email or a DM on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor. Till next time. Pues conmigo.